Hi, my name is Christopher from Martinis Medical Systems. In this video, I will show you how to map LSL events to Oxisoft event labels. I already have a Bright24 measurement running, and I am also connected to an LSL event stream. This event stream sends out two events. The first is the string event1, the second is event2. We can see these events already coming in if we look in the DAX status window. To have a closer look at what Oxisoft does, let's open Analysis Event List. If you look at the event text label field, we can see that the strings that are coming in are prepended with the LSL. If you look in the label field, we can see that both types of events are given the same label. For analysis purposes in Oxisoft, this is not ideal. So to give these two events different labels in Oxisoft, go to data collection, select event input mapping, you then click add for both of these event types. In the left side you fill in the event pattern or the event pattern string that you want to match in your LSL stream. Here we have event 1 and event 2. You then simply have to go to the Oxisoft label field click and select an Oxisoft label that you want to give that event type. Here I will select A for event 1 and B for event 2. You then click a cl OK to apply these changes. You can now see in the DAX status that the new events coming in are given these new labels. But let's again open Analysis and Event List to see these changes. So you can make out that for event 2, you get the label B, and for event 1, you get the label A. However, you should notice that for all the older events that came in before the mapping was done, they still have the label L. So these changes are only applied from the point that you applied the event mappings. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you have any questions, have a look in the manual or contact us via askforinfo at artinis.com.